And get this, the always cool, calm, and collected Michael Jordan lost his head. In fact, he tried to take off Mark Jackson's head. The usually unflappable MJ was given a rare technical foul for this unsportsmanlike action. Have some, because it really gets clogged in the middle. Pippen going down inside, Smith shut him off, and Davis picks up the loose... Led the charge. Kittles oh. is it knocked away by Michael Jordan. Basket and a foul. Michael Jordan can give the Bulls a three-point lead with a critical defensive play. Lakers lead, and that's the first L.A. fast break I remember. They're going to be opportunistic. They're not going to get into a running game. If it's there, they'll take it. If not, they'll run half-court offense. Three went for the steal. Michael stepped in front of him. Three knocked him down and commits the foul. It was once as fierce a rivalry as any in sports. They were out hustled to the ball, and Atlanta leads by one. 425 left. Charles Oakley holding to the right. Corzine top of the circle. Inside Jordan. Michael gets fouled. Hey, how many Rivers fouls Jordan. Rivers with his fourth foul. Doc Rivers pumped up here. He came down the middle. He, uh, Doc tried to score the offensive foul. He didn't get called on it. And then he came back and made sure that Michael didn't score the basket. If he got the uh, shot off, I don't know. Hoop goes to the left hand. Nice move. Bad shot. Now here's Jordan against Williams. Williams fouls Michael hard, but catches the franchise. They're going to call a move by John Williams. But they're going to call a breakaway foul on this. They're going to call contact in the back, and Lenny Wilkins is going to be upset with this. You know, Bob, I want to tell you something about the breakaway foul. The breakaway foul is not determined by the severity of the contact. That's not the intent of the rule. If you make contact in the back from behind, if your body is not in front of the guy and you're not playing the ball and you have contact in the back, it's a breakaway. As Hot Rod Williams got in front of him, I think that's a good call because John Williams was behind Michael Jordan, and this could be a four-point play. And the reason you see him at the line, it's not a technical. He goes to the line for the free throw, then he gets the other free throw, then the Bulls also get possession of the basketball. So it could be a four-point play here. Exactly. See, they, they put this rule in because the guy is being pushed in the back and all on, on fouls in, the, in a breakaway situation because they felt like guys were getting driven into the stanchion and getting hurt. During your days as a player, it happened a lot. You saw oh, some yeah. really severe fouls undercutting on breaks. Not to look for a shot, but the Bulls are also getting out there and challenging him on his outside shot. Mikhail draws the foul. And looks like he hit his head. McHale scored all his 12 points in the first period. He has none this quarter. Larry Bird all, has all of his 11 this period. Let's see what happens here. He gets sandwiched, and somebody comes over. And actually, what happened, it looked like he got a little whiplash or an elbow in the forehead. Dave Corzine commits his third foul. Oakley and Corzine each with three. So McHale trying to get the cobwebs out. Want to remind you that you're watching the second game of a Vincent throws into Jordan. Michael at fake pumps the shot good off the glass. And looked like Michael got bumped inside. He's got Oh, yeah, he points. did. Jordan is down and hurt. No foul was called. They run the floor the other way, and the Bulls take a 20-second timeout as Mark File comes out to look at Michael Jordan. He really got wrapped on that shot. There was no foul called. He gave a fake to Mike Brown, and then... Uh, holding his head uh, really got a wrap. His nose, uh, looks like his nose is bleeding a little bit. Well, it's... Now we have a full timeout taken. Oh, what Michael a got, crunch he got, got by got Malone. Wrapped right across the bridge of the nose by Carl Malone on that shot attempt. File getting Michael Jordan up. They're talking about maybe a broken nose. Oh, yeah. 
a doctor, I'm sure, will be looking at him. Absolutely. And Michael Jordan yeah, he's leaves. going toward the Utah dressing room. He's not going toward the Bulls dressing room. Michael with uh, leaves the game here with 15 points. All right, boys. Let's see what you can do. Suck it up now. With one -oh. Traffic with a dribble and gives it up to Jordan. Michael drives it front court to the left. Spins foul line. Takes it right of the lane. Lost the ball in traffic. Carl Malone the steal. Out the stock and Jordan is down. Jordan's down holding his head and the Bulls take a 20. Remember last year, Jim, he got an inadvertent elbow from Carl Malone, went in the locker room. We didn't think he would see him the rest of the trip. He came out, played, got 33 points, but Mark File looking at him now. Didn't see what happened. He drove across the lane, went up in the air, had the ball stripped. Uh, I think Malone, Malone hits him. him. And on both of these plays, last Michael, year and this year, no foul call. Michael goes up, and as he comes down, Malone, oh, Malone catches, oh, Malone catches him clear now with the ball. And well, you hope that is not serious. Oh, boy. It's the cheekbone. Seen uh, it's the ball. Michael comes down and Malone comes out clearing with the arms, and uh, that normally is a two shot. Uh, he is we're going after Percy. He says that was one cheap shot at me, and now Hill comes off the bench. Jordan jumps in his chest. Dick Pavetta in the middle, along with Bruce Alexander. They try to break it up, and Ken Maurer also there. He just, this is the kind of a game we expected from the first quarter, but uh, the Bulls have led by a hefty advantage most of the way. Boy, Phil Jackson is really hot. Yeah. Chuck you, Person on, on the foul. Shrimp coming over to talk to Phil Jackson starts to head back. 29 for Michael. Keeping him close. He is. Michael Jordan, and now Vernon Maxwell is pushing and shoving with Horace Grant. It started Jordan. with Jordan. What's the deal? This is two games in a row in Chicago Stadium. Going down the court. Jordan running back down the court. And they're talking to each other. He just bumps into well, it. What's the yeah. deal? Well, now you're going to throw them both out, Red. How about this? How about this trade-off? Now let's Jordan. see if they go to Michael. Let's see how many guys come to him. Maxwell and Jordan Thorpe was coming to help out. Yeah. I think Maxwell got too much of them. The, the whistle before the shot. It's on Maxwell. On his push. fifth. And they're going to take it out on the side. And it's their second foul. Houston, first foul 11, Vernon Maxwell is so the Bulls will inbound. 4.09 left to go in the game. Bulls leading by 11. Paxson. Jordan there it is. again. He's Maxwell. out. He's gone. He's gone now. Uh oh, he bumped the official. He is gone. Yes, he's out of the game. He fouled out. So he can't points at halftime. He ends up with 17. Let's take a look at the sequence. Before the ball was in, wrong, he and Michael are talking a little bit. He says, you got to let me alone a little bit. So now Michael tries to take him down low. And he, he just gives Michael one, two. He's gone. So. Affected him so much. But, you know, he probably just thought I was some mouthy, skinny kid. And...